Antonio had it but the means to hold a rival place with but one of them? I have a mind presages me such thrift that I should questionless be fortunate. No, no, Antonio was a good man. Have you heard any imputation to the contrary? Oh, no, 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 no. My, my meaning in saying he's a good man is to have you understand me that he is sufficient. Yet his means are in supposition. He had an Argosy bound to Tripolis, uh, another to the Indies. I understand, moreover, upon the Rialto, he had a third to Mexico, and a fourth for England, with other ventures he had squandered abroad. Hmm. But ships are but boards, sailors but men. There be land rats and water rats. Water thieves and land thieves, I mean, pirates! Ha! And then there is the peril of waters, winds, and rocks. The man is notwithstanding sufficient. I think I may take his bond. Be assured you may. I will be assured I may, and that I may be assured I will be thinking. May I speak with Antonio? If it please you to dine with us. Oh, yes, to smell pork. <laughs> and you must cut this flesh from off his breast. Aye. His breast, so says the bond, doth it not, noble judge, nearest his heart, those are the very words. Have by some surgeon, Shylock, on your charge, to stop his wounds, lest he do bleed to death? Is it so nominated in the bond? It's not so expressed, but what of that? Twere good you do so much for charity. I cannot find it! Tis not in the bond! Merchant? Have you anything to say? Grieve not that I am fallen to this for you, for herein fortune shows herself more kind than is her custom. It is still her use to let the wretched man outlive his wealth, to view with hollow eye and wrinkled brow an age of poverty from which lingering penance of such misery doth she cut me off. Repent, but you that you shall lose your friend, and he repents not that he pays your debt. For if the Jew do cut but deep enough, I'll pay it presently with all my heart.